welcome to LS Nasty headquarters. We're here. Just got back from Darlington. Darlington. God. It's been it's been a long weekend. Just got back from Streetcar Takeover Charlotte Z Max Dragway. It was a rough ending. Huh? The sun is like Am, am I like white? Yeah, yeah. It's, they, we need to like. I'm like. In, in, am I like on fire? We need to go inside or outside. Okay, come on in. Come on in. We'll shut the door. Weekend racing. It was very hot. Unfortunately, it ended on kind of a rough note with some issues with the black sheep. They really suck because they're issues that we've known about. Band aided it, but we knew that that. Yeah, Matt said it from day one. He's like, oh, it's gonna suck if we go up there and the car doesn't start, shuts off or something. It's exactly what happened. So we're gonna get the black sheep all figured out. So thank you guys for always supporting, watching, cheering us on, giving us inspiration to work on the cars. Cause sometimes, you know, it's pretty stressful working long hours, but honestly having a bunch of people behind you wanting to see you do good, it makes it a whole lot more meaningful. Speaking of that, we're gonna talk about the giveaway truck, which is the next giveaway. We're gonna give away a turbo S10 street strip car. It's gonna be an absolute muffin cap peeler. But before that, you can win a turbo, which I'm giving away now. All you guys have to do is go to ellisnasty.com First link in the description below, any item you purchase is an entry to win, 80 millimeter T6 built wheel turbo. It's like, it's a real muffin cap peeler. It's very similar to the turbos that we're gonna put on, the turbo that we're gonna put on, the S10, the turbo that I've run on, the Boosted Rooster, the Calmero, Charlie Murphy. What, what other car had it? I think that was it. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, the, the, uh, the Ranger. Like mm. this is, uh, uh, S400 chassis built wheel turbo is like the workhorse of turbos. Yeah, I've ran them a bunch. They're they're killer. They're units. This is what this thing's got. Boost Rooster has it. Uh, I mean, dude, you can really fly with them. So that's what we're going to put on the S10. Great street strip turbo. And so this is something that you guys can, you win it, you put it on something, you poke your eye out, you're an eye patch, you're good to go. So yep. spool fast, good power, reliable best of every single world that you can live in so speaking of the s10 build you guys saw we've uh we've gutted the truck we got a steering column in there we got a wheel on there um waiting on some parts from qa1 waiting on some parts from qa1 we're getting upper lower control arms some shocks of course when we run in the mod shocks on there the rear. which, which would be great to talk to you guys about um got a motor here got transmission here got converter here so the parts are coming along but i don't want to give you guys something that's going to be this fast and it not be safe so we immediately you're like we gotta put a cage in this thing it's gotta have a cage 10 point really do the job you go 850s with it i think this truck would probably go faster than 850s if in my mind it definitely will go faster than 850s but we're gonna have it set up to run eighth mile so you can you'll be safe uh, an 850 cert cage that's like what this got so eight, eight this one's a little bit extra uh, i got uh, main hoop harness bar a pillar bars um, the bar that goes across like your halo bar uh, this one I opted for X in the doors uh, it's got some kickers in the back uh, so this is like a, an 850 plus you can call it yeah it's got it's got some extra stuff but from a safety standpoint you know an 850 it serves the same as an 850 cage so all right so I got hit up I made a post saying I was looking for a nine inch rear end because I didn't want to put an 88 in the car I want it to be really nice I want to be build something that it's like at the end, you know, maybe a couple years down the road, I'm like, hey, let me buy that back because that thing's just sick. So I want to put a nine inch in there, narrow it, get some wheels that have uh, some good offset to them and everything. And I was actually made a Facebook post and Matt Moore, uh, Moore Race Chassis and Fabrication. I want to make sure I get that right. Moore Race Chassis and Fabrication. Matt Moore, great dude, hit me up. And uh, he came on board like that and got behind this build and absolutely hooked us up with a fab nine housing that he put together and a pre-bent 850 cert cage for the s10 uh, so if you guys go and check out his stuff i'll link his youtube channel and his facebook page in the description below and they make a bunch of pre-bent cages this takes like all the guesswork out of it he does a great job they're all labeled they're all numbered uh came on a pallet and i'm i'm super excited because like he absolutely hooked it up does great work uh they're building a badass ls fox body bunch of bars in there uh gonna be, be like a drag week build so kind of yeah. similar to what we're doing here quick quick timeline too i mean he dude that was that i'm glad you brought that up because that was the issue um strange was out like six seven weeks on getting an actual like rear end um but you can call strange and get axles in like a week so it's just this is the part that takes time so i call quick performance and they're out six weeks and they're 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 hot they're a lot higher than you know 
Matt. Matt hooked me up. He really did. He 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 hooked whoever wins this up too. Uh, so I hit up Matt and I was like, hey man, um, you know, you comment on my post. I, I've known Matt. I've, I've seen him on Facebook and he does some badass stuff. And I was like, you know, let's let's do something. He's like, dude, I got you. How about a cage and a rear end? And I was like, dude, I'm blown away. That'd be absolutely awesome. He's like, oh, how about it goes out next week? So I've had this here since Monday and we've been so busy. It is now Sunday. I haven't had time to mess with it, open it. I literally sat here and I was like, I don't want to open it up without recording because this is the stuff that excites me. A Fab 9 housing. Uh, we got it without the leaf spring, spring purchase on it because I guess I'm not a leaf spring expert. I'm learning, but you have to set like your pinning angle and everything. Yep. Through and the width of pinner on if we uh, narrow the springs. Spring. Yep. So everything else that we need to, to finish this, but that's just like minor welding. Uh, weld those brackets on there. Uh, we're going to run a Caltrax with this. So I guess I should probably get a screwdriver and a razor blade and open this up. And then as you can see, we have the cage here. You got your main hoop, your A-pillar bars. Uh, this cage has a uh, door bar, roof diagonal, and then it's got kickers down in the back that go to the bed. So uh, an awesome cage. His his price walk and everything is like... Chromoly. Yeah, chromoly. Yeah. I mean, it's like no corners cut. I mean, yeah. this stuff is it's awesome stuff. Um, so we're going to cut it open so you guys can see it. This, I've seen a picture of this before it was wrapped up. This is badass. No, it's good. Yeah, I got a back brace on it. All, I mean, all that's... Fab. That's yep. some serious stuff right there. So uh, big bearing forward ends. Yep. yep. So we're gonna do good brakes. Strange brakes on there. Yep. Forty spine gun drilled axles. Um, nine inch uh, with a nice probably aluminum third member. Like this is this right here is literally what we have in the sheep. Probably better. Probably yeah, probably better. And it's going into S10 that we're gonna give to you guys. So huge shout out to more race chassis and fabrication. Yep. Uh, really, this build would not be happening uh, without their involvement. So yeah. check those guys out. Go look at their stuff. Go check out their Facebook. Go follow them on YouTube. And uh, all right, let's get cutting into this. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to really all the people that are helping with this because everybody's got a budget. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a budget. So whenever you get somebody that helps us out with stuff like this and QA1, what, what really ultimately is it gives the, whoever wins it, it gives them a better, yeah. better truck. And so. honestly, that's the thing is we're going to build this truck. We'll probably race it for a month or so, and then it's going to go to its new owner. So the giveaways are getting better and better these awesome companies and i think it's pretty sweet because it gives us an opportunity to showcase their badass product you guys get to see it you guys get to watch us install it build it see how it's used in the real world and then you have a chance to win it so whether you win the truck you're building one very similar like you can it's like step by step you do the stuff we do you'll end up with a truck that goes just as fast all right matt's getting a strong hand in there on sundays we don't use john, power tools john gave me a screwdriver that don't fit we don't use power tools on sundays sunday so matt's over here with a strong hand my shoulder that's messed up from last night what happened <laughs> you fell into the car i got a fight with the relay board <laughs> <laughs> i feel like most people won't ever understand that's a long ass screw damn our intermission damn matt get the power tools Shout out to Milwaukee. They make some badass power tools. <laughs> they make a power tool for everything. They like really it, do. It's just like they, may, they have a new electric pump. Oh, uh, a transfer pump. Yeah, fourteen gallons a minute of whatever you want. I've started cars with these M eighteen batteries. What's an M twelve? All right, this is exciting. Raise your knife. It's like every shot. Raise your blade everywhere. We usually have them set around or inside the toolbox in the vertical, Pointing up. vertical position. I'm excited. Oh, snap. Damn it. MRC. Wow. Look at the welding. Dude. Matt, more race chassis. Fabrication. <clears throat> I was like seeing products from other people. That's really nice because a lot of people don't take pride in their stuff. If, you, if you've been messing with any of the race stuff, you realize that there's a lot of things out there that are very expensive and they just they suck. Like the quality's not there. You know, it's just half-ass. I don't know if it's because they're trying to turn it out so fast or they don't take pride, but. There's been a lot of things that I've spent a lot of money on for myself and customers that I'm like, this is just BS. Okay. And I hate I hate it every time because I don't want to see anybody spend money. But this this is a very nice housing. Yeah, the welding on that. 
gonna have to pull it over in the light because that thing. Dude. Probably want to spray some. I don't know if he's got. Yeah, he's got something on there to keep it from rusting. Yeah, honestly, you I, it'd be ashamed to powder coat that. You just get that cleared. Yeah, Penetrol. Penetrol works on any kind of bare metal. It, it'll maintain the finish. That looks sick. Yep. All right, pick that sucker up. Let's go over to the S10. We can talk about it. Talk about it a little bit. I mean, kind of basic for a, uh, a nine-inch housing. There's not a whole lot to it, but I do see some features that I really like. Um, billet face right here. So this, this all this is a uh, one piece that's been machined. So your uh, ceiling surface is really good for your rear or the uh, housing third member goes to it. Uh, very strong. Inside the axle tubes welded. It's got a drain in it. Magnetic drain plug. Wow. Large yeah. fill plug. O ring, so um, it's nice to fill it. You can look down in there. Got your axle vent. Back brace looks good. Um, you look at the welding on it. Yeah, really, really good quality. Um, he did a, he did a really good job. Uh, late model Ford bearing in, so you can get uh, good bearing, good brakes. You can fit 40 spline axles. Um, pretty much everything you want in a fabricated rear. All chrome molly. Welded inside and out. I mean. It did a good job on it. It looks it looks really good. And that right there is the cat meow. Yep. So we'll get some uh, leaf spring perches on it. Start welding some stuff on it for the anti roll bar when it's in the truck. Look at the back of it here. Here, twist it around for me. Look at that. That, dude. That's sick. It's a nice rear. That <laughs> that is a nice rear end. Yeah. Dude, it's sick. Yeah. I can't believe we're putting this. Hey, Chris, come check out my rear. Don't wait first then. <laughs> Can you believe we're putting this in something to give away? Mm. There, this is going to be by far what the nicest giveaway vehicle thus far. Rear end is nicer than the one with the black sheet. It's got, it's got a drain plug. That's, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. Dude, the welding on it is like... Yeah. You know when Matt put this on, he slapped it and said, that's not going anywhere as he welded it out this right here is is right. badass that's badass honestly i'm not i'm just gonna have to put penetrol on it just clear it i mean it looks sick it yeah. does look sick that thing's awesome so yep. did a good job big shout to more race chassis they absolutely hooked it up um super excited to get this in there we're going to get some axles ordered up third member ordered up some wheels ordered up put it under the truck um we'll lower the truck this paired with the qa1 suspension we're getting I mean, it's gonna be ready to rock. Caltrax. Yep. So I, I don't know any about anything about that. So I'm gonna learn on this. What kind of wheels are you put on it? I don't know. I'm I'm talking to a couple different companies on uh, doing a little uh, partnership with them on some wheels, so we can get you know some absolutely sick, badass wheels for uh, whoever wins this. Yep, that'd be. Uh, maybe some. It's gonna be a nice truck. Maybe some Bogarts. I mean, just saying. I'm a I'm a big I'm a big Bogart fan. If you can't tell. I mean, these are sick. You really can't go wrong with a Bogart. So um, something I think the wheel with this rear end, it's going to be a 15 by 10, uh, five and a half inch backspace will get us the clearance that we need. No frame notch, but fitment's close. Kind of like a G body, same thing. So um, yeah, the, the nice thing with a 10, you'll be able to run a 275, or you can put a 235 on it if you have a 235 race or something yeah. you want to go to. You can go either or. And we got this badass front bumper that we have to install. And roll kit. Man. Look at this, and we got the steering column in here. I mean, dude, this this thing, is, this thing is coming along nice. Look at this strange manual brake mass cylinder. I mean, this thing right here. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna drive it to the track. I'm gonna outrun Silverback. I'm gonna give it away. Yep. So I got a. Uh a good a very large air to air intercooler it's got cast in tanks um it's got a baffle in it to divert air to the top of the intercooler so I'll probably be running it um tdi 88 tdi 88 it's gonna make some power it's two ten, be, two ten injectors yep two ten injectors flex fuel sensor holly terminator holly terminator yeah. um i just got done with that reef car um made close to a thousand horsepower on dyno with a ysi it's got flex fuel ac power steering so it's definitely doable um I think with the Terminator X, we're going to be doing some pretty cool stuff, maybe with the uh, 
new input output module yeah too. yeah get some other sensors yeah get some data on it you know some low dollar some, stuff maybe yeah maybe, you know throw some shock travel on or something to where somebody helps you with uh tuning it and everything sweet all right well uh big shout out to matt over at more race chassis uh the nine inch absolutely sick well we got the cage over there we're not gonna talk about the cage today we'll talk about that when we're installing it so matt's gonna be helping us install that uh, but it's gonna be uh, absolutely sick. I think I got it. Well, I got it prepped for the cage So yep, uh, um, it's got to clean up in here. Obviously I got some nuts bolts gonna gonna clean it out vacuum it out So it's nice yeah. and clean. Luckily these don't have any uh, sound deadening. Yeah, no, we're uh, we're gonna start so, putting the cage in it actually No, that's uh, it's called uh, surface rust. Yeah. yeah, yeah, some of them have sound deadening like you know, you guys this with putting a cage in a fox you know that that shit can be a pain in the ass to get out and dry ice and everything the build is moving along and uh yeah so be sure to check out more race chassis first link in the description below we'll have a link to his youtube channel and to his website facebook and everything so go and check them out i'm uh, very excited to have them on board you guys are getting a nine inch fab nine in this thing lee springs caltrack aluminum third member 40 spline strange brakes it's gonna be badass 40 spline i mean 40 spline 35 spline so 37 and a half spline Somewhere there. Chris is like, every time John goes over budget. <laughs> he get to buy this round. John Doc got to buy this round. The black feet on the property. He got to buy for the next round. Fifteen. 